Hello and welcome back to Coating Gaming. We are here for episode number 19 of our 1860 Munich Football Manager 20 series. And in today's episode, we face Karlsruhe, Karlsruhe and Magdeburg. <laughs> I can't pronounce any of that. Um, yeah. So since you were last with me, you can see that we are now sitting pretty at the top of the table. Played 19 games, 40 points, so five points clear of under Hatchin in second with a game in hand, so we could extend it to eight points, which would be very, very nice at the end of today. Um, since you were last with us, with me, this has been the run of results. Very, very good. We beat Hansa Rostock 2-1. If I get, um, if I get that up. You can see that uh, the, the goal scorer is here. Um, so Breliger and then Loretta scoring in that game. Great performance. We then went to Chemitzer and uh, well, we hosted Chemitzer and we won at three-one. Efkan Otto, um, Efkan and Otto, Otto with two goals there. He's getting quite good again. And then one-nil again if in a friendly against Union Berlin, standing on third minute there. Just get a bit of fitness over the um, international break. And then we went and beat Arken to nil, Brock and Grilliger. And then we drew nil-nil with Gorossa Smatch, which is a bit annoying. But then we won 1-0 um, against Hamburg B. 1-0 there, Marcel Brock with a goal. And this is why we are sitting pretty at the top of the table with a game in hand and five points clear. But I have done this before <laughs> i have been in this situation before and it has gone terribly wrong since the last two games before the international break i don't believe anything is going on no no transfers going in or out currently um but yeah we, we haven't we've got a little bit of budget left so if we we could potentially get some people in maybe on freeze or at the end of the season or just transfers um but yeah this is going to be the team for today's episode we have got joel in goal a back four of strella dawn martinez and beck we are currently having a little bit of an injury crisis with um uh, our um defenders lang is coming back into it but we've got batiste on the bench who doesn't require a fitness test he is now listed um transfer listed because he's two and a half star and that at this moment in time is not good enough for he had a very good season last season um but yeah it's not good enough for the, the first team. So he's listed because he's getting quite old. He's 26. Yeah, 26. So he needs to be gone. we got Frieda as a balling midfielder at the center, uh, in the defensive midfielder position with Efkan and Drezel in front of him. Efkan's had a resurgent again. Now he's now three and a half star. Every so often he gets a little bit of... He gets a resurgent up the up the, up the, up the star rating as he's now three and a half. We've got Loretta on the wing. With Brock the other side of him and Otto up front leading the line, who has been in great form. He has scored nine goals and 18 appearances, so that's one every other game, which is great. But overall, he scored 10 in 19, so yeah, one every other game, which is pretty damn good. Hopefully, he will continue to get the goals. Um, Frieda is on a yellow card, one, one yellow card away from suspension, so. <sighs> Are they, where are they? The 12th. Who do we face next? It was uh, Magdenburg. Where are Magdenburg? 7th. I'm actually going to rest Frieda today. I'm going to have Erdman in there. Who can who has a, a good relationship with the, other, the two in front of him. But just in case Frieda gets yellow carded. And what's the schedule after there? 14th again. Yes. So if he gets yellow carded in the Magdeburg game, it doesn't really matter. But that's the, the lineup for this game with the last team playing this weekend. So hopefully we can go and uh, end the weekend in Germany with a win. Right. Let's see. Let's give the fans a point they're expecting from us here. Well, that didn't really matter so passionately. All right, faith. They love the faith. All right. Let's kick off. We are kicking off from right to left in our home white strip. They are in their blue strip. I'm assuming it's the home strip as well, to be fair. Judging by their badge, as they have the ball on this left-hand side as they've got a uh, an Asian player. They've got their token Asian player to get the shirt sales up. I like it. 
as we are putting them under a lot of pressure. Otto with the tackle, who then forces a save from the keeper, who does eventually pick it up. So that was an interesting sight on goal there, as we've got a free kick percent, probably for offside, as we are working it with Fkan now in the midfield, down to Strella. Finds Fkan again, back to Strella. We are working it quite well. Drezel now back to Erdman. Erdman all the way over to Strella, who's on this side. Loretta inside now, back to Strella again. Can we get the ball in the box here? We go to Loretta. What can we do here? Back to Strella. We are working this quite nicely. Fkan to Loretta. Back to Fkan. And we get a save from... We make a... We force a save from their keeper. We've got a corner on the far side now. Strella to take. Aiming for Otto at the near post. He does get a header, but it... The keeper saved it, apparently, and it's for another corner. Seem routine this time. Oh, still Strella taking it out somewhere this time as they now get the ball clear and we win it back with Becker straight away and we look to attack. So a lot of highlights coming thick and fast here. We are on top as Becker is now on the far side. He goes into the Drezel. He finds him on the overlap. That's a beautiful ball. It's inside to Fcan, and, oh, he needs to be doing a better finish than that. So we've got another corner thick and fast. This these highlights. It's 12 minutes gone. Otto is the target again. Brock now picks it up. Can he have a shot here? He does, but Dawn picks it up and back into Strella, who's running through the defence. He crosses the box, trying to get Otto involved. And they needlessly put that ball out for another corner. We are putting them under a lot of pressure. Strella again. Otto near post and up off. Makes a save and they go for the quick break and they are through our defence slightly. Can we make a challenge here? We can. There's a corner somehow. I thought it was going to go for a penalty there. We need to focus here as they are now attacking our end with a corner on the far side. They put the ball in and we head clear. Otto into Brock and we push forward. Another throw in on the far side here. It's all... Going crazy, Erdman picks it up in midfield. Now, what can he do here? He goes over the top towards Loretta, but Fgan does pick it up eventually after a poor header, and we build again. Erdman not the sharpest, so his dis uh, his distribution might be lacking. Brock then into Loretta. Drezel does pick it up again, and we recycle possession nicely here. Fgan to Loretta. Stroller's making a run. He does get the ball. Can he cross now? He goes for the back post. My God, is it the he's at the frame of the bar. He's at the frame of the goal. I don't understand what it was a half cross, half shot. But it almost worked out for us. Why is Strella taking a, a throw in on the far side there? That is not what should be happening. As Efken has a tame effort. We need to get a bit more creative here. I'm going to go positive. 20 minutes gone. We need to find this, this breakthrough goal. Estrella is the only person these highlights are coming through is Estrella here. He goes inside, doesn't quite find Drezel, but Erdman picks it up into Brock now. Becker's on the overlap, which is good. Can he find a cross? He goes into Brock, who goes back to Otto. He tries to get back to Otto, and they clear it there. We've had two half chances, but we just can't quite make the breakthrough. Right. We need to demand more here. Strella now has a highlight on this near side. He goes into the middle to find Drezel. Drezel into Brock. But back there. Otto's through, makes a fantastic save to deny Otto a goal there. He, he does need to score to keep his uh, two in, two every, uh, one goal every other game record up here. But Dawn makes a tackle and we clear it and it's just not working at the moment in time. Let's go a little bit more longer passing here. Hopefully we can unlock their defence as they are just sitting off us at the moment in time and we are failing to break them down 10 shots on target how have we not scored here we have had one clear cut chance now and we need to put one in the goal in the back of the net Becker now is running forward into the box here what can he do here he has a shot and never shoot never ever shoot what is his I can't check his I'm going to check his finishing but he just should never be shooting so I can only assume it's not the greatest in the world. Erdman now in the middle of the, mid the midfield into Loretta. Goes back inside to Otto. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't speak. Otto finds the wrestler again and it goes wide. It's nil nil at half time. This is unacceptable. Otto's having a poor performance here. So is Brock. Griliger can come on for Brock. It's just a natural inside forward on that side. Erdman picks the ball up here. We are playing our full strength team here, so we need this 
we need a goal. Loretta's fitness is going down as well as they've got a free kick from deep and it almost causes us a problem here. I'm actually going to go back to balance. We had more highlights when we were on balance. They have swapped one of their strikers. And there's a highlight now. We do win it back with Brock here into Dresel. Playing it quite nice around our midfield, but it just doesn't quite seem to be ending up in a goal. Shredder's making the overlap, and we do find him. He goes inside to Dresel. I thought he was going to have a shot then, Erdman. Now we go all the way back to Dawn. And we are sort of going the wrong way here. Back to Dresel into Efkan. Goes back to Dawn. We need to go forward here, lads. Efkan now picks it up. It's over the top to Loretta. Otter picks it up. He goes inside to Dresel. Finds Brock. Oh. That was an amazing chance, but our front three currently really bad. So we're going to get Gruliger on the pitch and Le and Steiniger for Loretta. Two attacking changes. Otto has got back up to six point five, so he's he's saving himself just currently. I don't even know what to do here. Do we go wider? They are sitting back. It's it's just looking like it's not going to be our day. Right, we need to go. We need to go attacking. Nothing is happening. As I'm going to make a change. It is going to be Drezel. Actually, no, no. Can Erdman play there? No. Right. This is going to be a bit of a weird formation, right? Maziz is coming on as the attacking midfielder. Or the attacking playmaker. We're doing a sort of asymmetrical formation currently for the last like 10 minutes of this game. But hopefully we won't need to actually do this as Grilliger picks it on the far side. He goes inside to Drezel. Can Drezel have a shot here? He goes back to Erdman. Over the top to Becker. Can we find a ball? Drezel now and saved by the keeper again. Look, there's 15 shots on target. Come on, we need to put one in the back of the net. Streller with a corner here. We goes into Otto. And Streller finds the ball back in. Dawn to Efkan, who gets tackled so easily. And we clear it to Becker, but we're going straight forward. We are trying to get this goal. Steiniger now on this near side. Playing as this inside forward, what can he do from this position? We find Erdman now. I don't know what he's doing there, but Greedig is now with it. Oh. My. God. <laughs> Finishing five. Long shot six. Yet yeah, he just scores a beauty, right? Have I made... I have made the change. We're going to go defensive here. <laughs> And we're going to waste time. It's like a 1 0 will be fine for me here. If it's sort of a, a lucky goal, like I guess you'd call it. But I'm happy we're just playing for time now. We deserve to win this. They haven't had a shot on target. We deserve it. As Becker, the goal scorer, now picks it up. He goes into the box, tries to find Otto, but misses. And then Fcan, and suddenly on defensive and waste time, we've got a second with Fcan with his fifth goal of the season. Maziz with another assist, who I am. I am thinking about going to a cam. I don't know if Mrs. is quite good enough. He might be, to be fair. Not very strong. But it might improve our goals if we have a more advanced person rather than a defender. But in like the games where we expect to be a tough game, we could play the defensive midfielder. It's something I've been I've been toying with. But I'll have to create another tactic for that to, to train it so they get a bit more used to what's going on. As we are severely wasting time here, we've got 20 seconds remaining of the 94 minutes that are being played. Shrela picks it up, Fkan into Maziz, and we're just playing for time here. Playing the ball nicely, and we are going eight points clear with one game remaining of this first half of the season. Hopefully... Hopefully we can end it. 11 points clear at the end of today's episode would be great. And there it is full time. A lot of highlights in that one. There was a lot going on. I'm going to say it was a good result. Because I guess in the end it was. Um, 
but you will join me for the Magdenburg away game with our excellent form. So I'll join you then. And we are back for the Magdenburg away game. Um, there's only one change, and that's Erdman out of the team and Frieda back into it. Uh, no, the second one, Greeligo. Greeligo replaces Loretta because his fitness is a bit iffy. His natural fitness of seven is painful. Actually painful. Um, but he is still developing quite nicely. So Greeligo does come into the team. The only reason I'm thinking of not selling this guy is because he's on relatively low wage and he can play anywhere. <laughs> like anywhere at all. Which is good. Um but yeah, so the, the team today is Joel in goal, Strela, Dawn, Martinez and Becker across the back four. Lang is back on the bench, um, but he's not fit to play the whole game, so he won't be featuring today unless we need him to. Frieda in the defensive midfield position, Efkan and Dresden in front of him, with Grieliger, Brock and Otto rounding out our front three. And hopefully we can get another win under our belt. Two out of two of the episode would be great. End the first half of the season going to the winter break top of the table hopefully by 11 points that'd be the greatest thing today um we should be winning this game no one really cares Grilliger liked it and joel did so i've got a lot of faith here they're all looking happy that is a very weirdly defensive slash there's definitely two groups defenders attackers as uh there's no one that i can recognize straight away there this is the second time we have played Magdenberg so hopefully we can um, win against them again I believe we won against them last time but I could be mistaken as we are kicking off from left to right again in our home uh, white kit even though we are away because we are facing yet another team in blue as Greeley gets a header on goal from a little highlight one minute into the game but forces a save out of the keeper We are dominating possession currently, but they are through us there, and that is an awful attempt. An absolutely awful attempt as their first shot of the game. But suddenly they are making headway into us. 22 minutes gone. We need to get creative here. Because nothing's really happening again. Oh, we, on, we are on extended highlights, so there's literally nothing happening. I'm going to go a bit wider here in an attempt to... I'm gonna I'm gonna goad them out of the out out of the back. I'm gonna go cautious, and hopefully this works. Under hatching are losing again. We need to win this game as half time draws to a close. The first half draw to a close. Right, I'm I'm going aggressive. I'm not happy with that. All right, that front three. Not happy with your performance. Fire them up. Get back out there. Do something. I think we are going to go to the the, the attacking midfield. I think Frida is going to come off. Hopefully before he gets a yellow card as well. Right, we're going to have to go. Nothing's happening. Right. Maziz in as that attacking playmaker. Or not. Maybe just an attacking midfielder. Yeah. We'll do an attacking midfielder there. Uh, Drizzle do drops back to defend. F can to support. And I think Loretta comes off. It's going to be the same three substitutions as last time. I think Stanley is going to come off a Brock if we can't do anything in the next five or so minutes. We are on course. I'm going to go back to balance as we are now... A little bit more attacking minded. So we should. We shouldn't need to try and goad them out. And stop defending. We are dominating possession. Nearly 70% possession. Which I think is what's causing us not to be able to break them down properly. That was a nice ball into Loretta. Back to Maziz who finds Fcan. Can we find anyone? It goes into Brock. Who goes back to Fcan. Fcan with a shot and just past the post. Just gutting I think, yeah, Brock's coming off. Stanley is coming on on that far side. Because Otto isn't having that much of a bad game. But he just needs to find that killer instinct here as Stanley picks the ball up. Drezel goes over the top to Becker. Back to Drezel. Drezel is actually 
Starting to be a bit more playmakery here, which is nice. As Becker now picks the ball up, he goes over to Loretta with a header on goal, and their keeper makes a good save. Again, four shots, two on target. We need to be scoring more. We need to be hitting the target more. As Dawn picks it up, Drezel now. Dawn again. Oh. And their keeper just holds on to the ball. I think we're going to go attacking. From what I've seen, there's been nothing coming from them. As I say that, there is a highlight and they start with a throw in on this far side. But we do pick it up with Dawn now, Maziz, and there might be a counter-attack on. He's not going fast at all there. As he finds Loretta this side and we've just slowed the counter-attack down. They've got managed to get back now. But Fkan is inside to Maziz. Goes over the top to Strelish, picks the ball up. And I don't understand what happened there. That was bad. Drezel again lacking sharpness. We are going into a nil-nil, literally a nothing game, and that is it. There's no time here. We've gone attacking as we go back to the keeper, and it's it's just, so, it's just typical because you have an action-packed first first game, and then the second game, boring. Look at that. The highlights were Brock got booked. That was unacceptable. We do finish um, eight points clear still because... Oh, no. Untouching lost. So Osnabrück are now second. So we are still eight points clear. But we needed to... We're drawing too many games. And that's worrying me. But yes, yeah, so we will be back. When will we be back here? We have been knocked out of the cup. So we haven't got that to worry about. So we will be back for the Oberhassen. That should be a fun game. And Bayern game. It always seems to be Bayern with us. But the Oberhassen and Bayern game will be back for, and hopefully we can get two wins out of there and be on our way to promotion at that point. Or do I want to do more? I tell you what. No. No, yeah. No. What we'll do is we'll do the Bra Braunschweig and Wurzburg game. Yeah, we'll do the, we'll do the the two do the two games after the after the um, winter break, and then we'll get back for uh, Erdogan and Augsburg two, and then we'll do the final two games of the season, and hopefully we will have been promoted by that point. But thank you guys for watching this episode. If you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you click that like button, that comment, and subscribe. If you do end up subscribing, make sure you click that notification bell to stay up to date with everything on the channel. But until next time, goodbye.